Hello, this is Ghosty, back with another video. Here we have my top 10 Marvel Legends of 2023. And these are not them. These are the runner-ups that just barely made it, but not quite. Now, if I had to expand my list to a top 15, I'd definitely put Kanchu, Green Goblin, Spiral, and Phoenix on that list, but... For the purposes of the top 10, these just weren't my favorite. Magneto was close, Moon Knight was close, but in the end, I chose some different figures. So, let's get started with the top 10. Okay, for number 1, we have the Rose. I said number 1, I mean 10. Sorry about that. Alright, so for number 10, we have the Rose a.k.a. The Blood Rose, in his newest interpretation. He is the son of Wilson Fisk, a.k.a. The Kingpin, and is personally one of my favorite Spider-Man villains. He is a criminal who wants to take down his father's empire by any means necessary, including murder, kidnapping, and other sorts of crimes. He is a great villain with a great costume. Although they didn't really get his costume right, he usually wears what is a, a, a baggier suit. But this figure, he has more of a tighter fitting suit. But it's still a nice figure. I like it. Okay, and for number nine, we have the Destroyer. He came in a two-pack with Thor. And this is a very nice figure. You can see how good the silver looks across here. Very nice. Single jointed elbows. If he maybe had double jointed, he would have been higher. But he's still a very nice figure. His articulation in the diaphragm is very nice. And his sheen is super good. I don't know what plastic they used. But they need to continue using this plastic because it is really, really good. Okay, and for number eight, we have Hawkeye, a.k.a. Hawkeye and his Sky Cycle. So this came in a two-pack, of course, Hawkeye with his Sky Cycle that was around 50 bucks. I think it should have been 40 If it were 40 it probably would have been higher. But... This figure was really nice out of box and was really fun to play with, especially with his cloth, uh, loincloth. That really helped him pose and sit down on the Sky Cycle. The bow is pretty accurate. It's the same one that came with uh, Yondu, but Yondu, that makes Yondu's bow not accurate. But this one is still very nice. I'm probably going to keep him with the regular Avengers and have my old one with the West Coast. So yeah, a very nice figure and one of my favorites from this year. Okay, and for number seven, we have Longshot. I know some people got this back last year, or the, at the end of last year. I got him this year, and he was meant to come out this year. So I'm putting him on this list, and that's how it's going to work, because it's my list. I want to put figures where I want to put them. So this figure was very nice. I got him from Target, I think. The The price was pretty decent, although I would have preferred 23 or 22. 25 still wasn't bad for a figure this nice. And I got him to go with my mojo, which I got from Target, and they go nicely together. This figure has a lot of accessories, and is really fun to pose and play around with. He has pinless joints, and I really like the three fingers. It's very creepy. Yeah, very nice looking figure overall. I love those boots. I would kill to have them. And the knife he comes with is a pretty unique knife, and it, it looks cool. It looks cool. Um, will I be buying the three-pack with Mojo, Dazzler, and 
Uh, long shot? Probably not, just because I have this one right here. And he is a really nice version of long shot. All right, for number six, we have Rogue. This is the X-Men 97 Rogue, and is personally my favorite Rogue from Marvel Legends. I do have the retro one. I do not have the Juggernaut Wave one, but I still think this is the best. Out of posability and the pinless joints make it an awesome figure. And it looks really great next to my other X-Men. Which is all kind of mix and match. Some VHS, some retro. So, yeah, she still looks nice. And you can't really... You can you can put her with other figures. She isn't entirely X-Men 97, which is nice. Like, you can definitely put her with regular figures. And it have, looks cool. Looks cool. So, I like the bright yellow. It's a lot nicer than the dark orange they did with some of the other X-Men. And the green is also very nice. I like the green belt. I like the green jacket. Although it's not completely comic accurate, uh, it still works for my display. And since my last rogue is damaged, this one is a great stand-in. Okay, for number five, we have the Marvel Legends. Let's see, is this, I think, Ultimate Captain America, if I'm not mistaken? Yeah, I think it's Ultimate Captain America. Which I think is the best Captain America we've gotten from Marvel Legends. It beats out the old one from Toy Biz. And it beats out the all-new, all-different... Oh, wait, no. Is it all-new, all-different DC? I forgot. The um, previous Captain Americas, though. It beats out those ones. It, this figure is amazing. I think he would have been closer to number one. If he had toe articulation, but we didn't get that. He comes with an alternate head. He has two heads, an angry head and a regular head. Both with mask on, which is something we haven't seen from Marvel Legends for Captain America. And he comes with the newer, bigger shield. So that's very nice. His sculpt is amazing. Every part is textured or has some sort of detail on it. His boots are nice, the gloves are nice. It is a really, really nice figure. Alright, for number four, we have the 97 Wolverine. This figure is amazing. Pinless joints, an unmasked Logan head, which looks great. I really like the yellow, and I like the color of blue they chose. A very nice blue, although it doesn't quite match with my other X-Men. It works. It looks nice. The yellow is bright and vibrant, and I really like that. And he has fallen over. So, if you'll notice, the claws are more like sabers with this version, as he was in the 90s cartoon. And the mask is huge. The huge, wide ears, just like the cartoon. It looks great. And he looks good with your comic figures if you want to put him there. I put him with my comic figures because I don't have a completely classic Wolverine. So this works. This works. It looks nice, plays nice, and it looks great with all my other X-Men. Alright, for number three, we have the Marvel Legends Black Widow. She came out for the Avengers Anniversary line. And she is amazing. Super poseable. Three different heads. A lot of different accessories. So you can do so much with this figure. And I really do appreciate it. She is by far the best Black Widow we've gotten. The head is super unique. Looks great. Doesn't look like any of the other women in this line. Which is a huge issue Marvel used to suffer with. All the women looking the same. But not with this figure. This figure looks unique, and she looks like her own individual person. Other than that, I don't have much to say about her, but she was a blast to play around with, and she looks great with my other classic Avengers. Alright, for number two, I have a very controversial choice. It is the Marvel Legends No Way Home Final Swing Spider-Man. And a lot of people do not like this figure, and I can't see why. 
I really love this figure. I love how it looks. I love how it poses. I love the blue and the red they chose. I really like it. And, well, I probably would have enjoyed the SH Figure Arts one better. Because that one's coming out. But I can't afford that. So I got this one. And he looks great. He is the best movie Spider-Man in my collection. And I have a figure representing every single Spider-Man from every single movie. And this one is my favorite. And it was my favorite since I got him out of box. And he was so fun to play with. I got him out of box basically on the bus home. I was so excited to play with him. I had him in my hands for hours. He was a lot of fun to play with. And that's why he's my top two. But my top one is probably the most deserving and the best figure of the year. And that is Blob. Blob by far deserves this spot. And I do think he is the best figure of the year. He is awesome. And I know he's just a figure of a fat dude. But come on. He's cool. I've wanted a Blob figure ever since the Build-A-Figure wave back in, like, 2011. And I was very young then, and I still knew how important the Blob was and how cool he was. But I just couldn't get him back then. But now, I got him. I found him at GameStop by chance. I just decided to check, and with the last 50 bucks I had from my job... Uh, for my final paycheck, I got it, this guy. And he was well worth it. Um, yeah, I just decided I was walking down the street. I was going shopping with my family. And I noticed there's a GameStop in this parking lot. Why not go over to GameStop? See if they have him. They did. They had Blob. And I did not even expect to find him. I was looking for something else. But... Man, is this awesome. He doesn't come with too many accessories, but he doesn't need too many accessories. He has a screaming head. He has a closed mouth head. He has an open hand. He has a fisted hand for both sides. And that's about all he needs. Although I would have preferred double jointed joints. We didn't get that, but it still works. Although I would have preferred a soft stomach. That would have been cool, like Mojo. This is still a very, very nice figure and well-deserving of the number one spot on my top 10 Marvel Legends of 2023. I hope you guys enjoyed my list. If you disagree with any of the choices on this list, please let me know in the comments. I love reading your guys' comments, even if most of them are mad at me for liking No Way Home Spider-Man. I still like reading the comments you guys give me. So, I will see you all later, hopefully with another review. I should be getting Vision in a few days, so I'll review him, and I'll probably make some other videos. Other than that, you guys ought to have a great day. Bye.